Today on the channel, we take a look at some Jack's Adrenaline 2 packs. We'll call this one the Manager Series. Welcome everyone, Kyle here back again with some of our favorite unboxing videos here on the channel and that's Jax Ruthless Aggression style figures. Specifically today we're looking at the Jax Adrenaline 2 pack lineup. I'm kind of mixing these figures together as you guys know. I have about a hundred figures ready to be unboxed in the Jax line that I just haven't got around to. So I'm going to compile them into a couple of videos. Well, a lot more in a couple of videos, but a couple of figures per video. We'll unbox them, talk about them, see what comes up. And today I kind of grouped these together as basically manager two packs. I figured that was the best way to put these three adrenaline packs together. And today, the first one we're going to start with is the Edge Vicky Guerrero two pack. So uh, as time went on, this one was a peg warmer back in the day, at least in my area. Uh, you know, not a lot of people wanted the Vicky Guerrero figure, I think, uh, and a lot of people didn't really want female Jax figures. Uh, that's just kind of the way it was back then, it seemed like to me. This one hung on the shelves for a while uh, out there. Um, I never had it back in the day. I was primarily only classic superstars with a few different uh, figures mixed in from time to time. I was definitely not the completest I am now, um, but I had to get this one, and I finally did. So, Really cool Vicky Guerrero. I think this might be her first figure ever, actually. You know, Mattel's made a few figures. Edge, we don't even have to talk about it. He's a stalwart of the Jax lineup days. Uh, tons of Mattel's, and then a, a nice drought because he was retired. Now that Edge is back in business, I think we're going to start seeing Edge's left and right. We already know two more Elites are coming out soon. We got an Ultimate Edition. Uh, no, uh, no lack of Edge figures anytime soon, that's for sure, in the Mattel days, but... Let's take a trip back. Let's look at this Adrenaline. Uh, what is this? Series 33. Vicky Guerrero Edge. So let's look at the front packaging. You can see their pictures on the side. I always like these Jax packaging. I always thought they did a great job. They did special packaging, pay-per-view packaging. Obviously, you guys know the love I have for the Classic Superstars packaging. Uh, a very good pack right here. Uh, looks really cool. Um, here is the old back. Promoting an Adrenaline Series 33. Who else is in that set? Well, I'm glad you asked. Kane and Chavo Guerrero, and then we got Paul Burchill and Katie Lee Burchill, which we're actually going to unbox here next. So that works out all right. Then we're promoting down below Deluxe Aggression Series 17, Santino Morella, Paul Burchill, once again, a really awesome D.H. Smith figure that I really like, Kofi Kingston, and then you also got Zack Ryder and Kurt Hawkins in Deluxe Aggression Series 17. So there you go. There's those. Uh, a great package. There's no uh, damage on this one. I almost hate to open it, but I need both these for my loose collection. There you go. Fairly cheap set out there. Let's go. Jax, they always open so smooth. See you later. Opens right up. There it is in the old plastic prison. Now that I look at this, I may have this edge already, but I definitely do not have that Vicky. Uh, you guys know Jax. They make so many similar figures all the time. Um, let's see. Oh, I thought we had some loose limbs right out of the package. We kind of do, actually. This left arm on Edge is a little looser than I'd prefer. Um, great tattoo work on Edge, though. Uh, Jax, people dog them. People say they hate them now, but I don't know if those people ever really had these or took a look at them. Obviously, I understand the scale and a lot of reuse parts, but, boy, these head scans on a lot of these are perfect, are awesome. Uh, this Edge is a really good one. You know, Mattel has really never figured out the Edge head scan. I don't know. If he, something about him that's tough to get into plastic. I don't know. But uh, Jax, I always felt, did a very good job. See you later. So Vicky is your typical female Jax, Ruthless Aggression style figure. However, the cool thing Jax did is they uh, gave her soft goods, which you didn't see a whole lot, especially for the female figures. But they uh, gave like padding, extra padding to the shirt to make Vicky look bigger like she used to be back in this time frame. So a little bit of smoke and mirrors, which is really cool of Jax to do. I know I've seen this one before online where it's been, uh, you know, she's been disrobed and she's just in a bikini. It just does not look right. But uh, this is a solid figure. Very solid. One of the best probably Vicky Guerrero figures ever. And that includes the couple of basics we got from Mattel. Uh, nice black pants, floral design. I mean, she looks like uh, an office secretary, like she's getting ready to go to the office or something like that. 
Um, there will be a very hard to stand. I don't know if she will even stand. She's got these uh, high heels on, which are just impossible. Um, I don't think there's any way to get her to stand on her own. It's like a, a magician would have to get involved. You have to just balance it just right. Oh, there it is. I did it. Look at that. She's got to have a weird bend with her head all the way back to just kind of counteract the weight. Uh, it's really a magician tip here I, that I'm doing this. Uh, don't try that at home. It's kind of the black arts. You know, it's a little dark magic that I get this done with. Uh, grabbing some heavy metal uh, powers here. But uh, that being said, no accessories in this set. Nothing fun there. I guess they use the accessory budget on the soft goods, which I'm okay. I'd rather have that than another cookie sheet or dinner tray or who knows what Jack's going to give us for an accessory. Um, and then Edge had no accessories at all. So there it is. But a very solid uh, two-pack. It's probably a must-have. This is probably the best Vicky Guerrero figure um, Jack's produced and really possibly the best one ever done. And Edge is Edge. We've had a lot of Edges, so... There you have it. There goes, down goes Vicky. Down for the count. Let's look at the next one. All right, next up, Adrenaline Series 33 continues. We just did Edge and Vicky from the set. Now we're going to do Paul and Katie Lee Burchill. The old pirate Paul Burchill. Who doesn't love a pirate? Uh, same type packaging as the last one because it's in the exact same set, so there you go. Um, Paul Burchill, I don't know if this is a whole lot different than one of his single carded figures. He had the really great two-pack with William Regal in Jack's where he's got the old puffy pirate shirt and looking like a true pirate. This one's more uh, dumbed down. Does has his manager sister, Katie Lee. Same uh, background as the last one, so we don't need to go through all that. Uh, always thought this Paul Burchill was a strong figure. Um, I gotta check this one against the single carded release. I don't think there's any differences. I gotta double check though. Uh, and we'll see uh, when that comes. So let's get down to it. Let's open her up. Here, her and him. See you later. Little WWE Frisbee. See you later. Um, let's see here. So yeah, I got to double check that Paul Burchill. See if that's uh, straight up. Does come with a microphone. I guess that's for Katie Lee. She talks. But we know that Jack's figures, the females just can never hold those microphones just right. Let's open this up. Whoa, Paul's got a bad leg. Holy cow. Something ain't right with this leg. I got a bum, bum leg here. What is going on? Is it too... Huh. You don't see many that bend this way. This is, I think, the Sid, Sid Vicious figure. It bends all the way up like he broke his leg. Something's... Hmm. I don't know. Something's f funky there. It doesn't... Hmm. Will he stand? Will he stand on his own? Yeah, I guess he will. He's just got a bum leg. That's really weird. With Sid Justice, Sid Vicious uh, action, I guess. Uh, he also got some glue. Hmm. A little bit sloppy on this one, uh, but an all right figure nonetheless. Got some like sticky glue on him. It's not the typical Jack's residue. It's like a glue. Definitely some issues with that leg. I'll look past it. It'll be all right. I might heat it up and kind of mold it a little bit back in some hot water. But all in all, not bad. He's got his black glove. Paul Burchill, probably nobody's top 10 favorite wrestler. If you're out there and he's one of your top favorite wrestlers, leave me a note in the comment. I would love to hear that. I just don't know if there's anybody there. Uh, it'll be interesting to see if she's sticky. Holy cow, she is sticky. I feel like a, she feels like a fruit roll-up. Oh my gosh, they got the dreaded sticky disease all over this skirt. I've never seen it this bad. It's even on my fingers. This is this is brutal. So, pro tip, if you guys uh, recently found my channel or whatever, you can go back. I do have a solve for this. You get some clear packing tape, you wrap it up on here, and you take that tape off. And you repeat until the stickiness counteracts. It's a weird deal. I'm not a scientist. I think I may be related to Mr. Wizard somewhere down my family tree, but I'm not positive. Somebody will have to check that for me. But uh, it kind of counteracts the stickiness, so I'm going to have to do some serious work on this. I mean, this looks wet when you look at it, and it is beyond sticky. Um, the hair's got a little bit of a start to the stickiness. That's another place we see it sometimes. It's getting there, but it's not quite there. So I'm going to have to do some a little extra work on this Katie Lee Burchill. If she does have the Jack's high heels... She'll be impossible to stand, and then once again I use my black magic, my dark magic, and I make her stand. I don't know how I do it, guys. I just do it. I say I can't, but then I do. It's just a gift I've been given, or is it a curse? I'm not sure. But that's it. There's Katie Lee Burchill. That's Paul Burchill. That's Adrenaline Series 33. 
Now we're going to save the best for last, which I think could be one of my favorite Jax figures of all time. All right, and finally, the last one of these two-pack manager series unboxings. we got Adrenaline Series 34, Joey Styles, Tommy Dreamer. Let's just call this the ECW two-pack. Uh, I believe Joey Styles was originally going to be Jeff Hardy, and then Jeff Hardy got released. Somebody can check that, but I believe that's the case, and that's why they threw this uh, Joey Styles in. Luckily, that kind of works. Obviously, both ECW originals, both guys that came over to WWE, that works for me. I think the Joey Styles is just a little bit different than his uh, ECW single-carded figure. So you got to have that, of course. Adrenaline 34, we had Finley and Hornswoggle, JBL and Randy Orton, and then Joey Styles and Tommy Dreamer. And then the bottom, we get Adrenaline 17, which we talked about in the last one. So that same lineup they're pushing there. Let's look at Joey and Tommy. And uh, I was talking about, I think this Tommy Dreamer is one of my favorite Jax figures. I love this Tommy. The head scan on this one is truly amazing. Really ahead of its time, if you ask me. This came out in 2008, so uh, 12, 13 years ago, based on when it came out. Uh, you've got the ECW shirt on, which is awesome. Obviously, I'm a longtime ECW fan. Love this figure. Let's open it up. Let's see what's going on in here. Always open up so easy. That's what I love about these jacks. See you later. Big frisbee through the air. Hopefully, Joey Styles doesn't have the sticky disease too, but he very well could. We get the microphone to go with Joey Styles, which makes a ton of sense, as you can imagine. Joey needs his microphone. Uh, it's funny how they they show it with nothing showing, but it's actually a WWE microphone. I don't know if they wanted, because of the ECW, they didn't want to show that part. I don't know. Let's bust out Tommy. Like I said, I love this Tommy Dreamer figure. Uh, he's got a little bit of that Finley disease where he's looking down, but this is, uh, he's even got a little bit of a loose arm. That's a bummer. Um... And a little paint glue that cleans off. <sighs> Give it a little blow, get that off there. But this head scan, I just wish he wasn't looking down. But that is the best Tommy Dreamer head scan I think ever. I, it's just awesome. Love this Tommy. Tommy Dreamer is an all-time favorite of mine. Very cool. The ECW shirt, of course, sets it off. The red boots and the black. Just a slam dunk figure. This is going to be front row worthy in my Jack's Ruthless Aggression display. Front row, right up there. Got to have Tommy front and center. Joey is not sticky. Honolulu, see you later. Boom. Love it. Love that Joey's not sticky. Not a lot of difference than his uh, single carded release. Um, I believe that one did come with glasses, however. I will give him the microphone. And you can just have him sit here and he can interview Tommy Dreamer. This is the pack of the three. This is the one I love the most. This one speaks to young teenage Kyle. Loving himself some Tommy Dreamer in the ECW arena. Loving the Joey Styles commentary. Slam dunk. Could be one of the best adrenaline sets, if not the best. And Tommy Dreamer, like I said, probably one of my all-time favorite Jax Ruthless Aggression figures. I just wish he w didn't have that Finley looking down uh, disease. That's a little unfortunate. But it is what it is. They had a few figures that way. And Finley was always the, the biggest culprit of that. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this, uh, enjoyed this Jax adrenaline unboxing we got a lot more jacks videos to do i'm going to try to knock a bunch out uh, i'm going to have them in the can just kind of as bonus videos here and there uh, just always good to have a few videos in the can just uh, for use later so expect a ton more jacks ruthless aggression box unboxings we'll see what kind of accessories and maybe there's some good stories with those accessories you never know uh, i always seem to kind of uh, use my mental rolodex and figure them out so more to come right there but that's it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the old like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Tons of unboxings, tons of stuff going on on the channel. So make sure you subscribe. Tell a friend, tell a phone, tell a wrestler, tell everybody out there. Uh, and then leave me a comment with your opinions on these things. So for uh, Paul and Katie Lee Burchill, Edge and Vicky Guerrero, and my boys Tommy Dreamer and Joey Styles, oh my God, I'll see you later.